A few weeks ago, my pal Precambrian Lullaby recommended some films to me about uh, Zatoichi, the blind swordsman, because I told him that I had never seen the Zatoichi film before, and there have been lots and lots of them. And it, 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 it was really about time that I started watching a Zatoichi movie. It's kind of embarrassing that I haven't seen one yet, and I consider myself a cinephile. Um, so I'm making, and uh, Precambrian Lullaby also mentioned that he himself had never gotten into Kurosawa. And he knew that I was a fan of Kurosawa, and could I maybe offer him some recommendations for Kurosawa films? And so I'm making this video now to to my pal Precambrian Lullaby, and also uh, the rest of you guys can watch it too, because I figure maybe some of you haven't been into Kurosawa before, and you've been thinking about it, and you wonder where to start. So I will give you my own opinion. Uh, I make this video both to answer my friend's request for Kurosawa advice and also to make up for the fact that even though he recommended uh, some Zatoichi films to me many, many weeks ago, I still have not watched any of them. So, uh, it's, it's both. It's, 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 it's for him and it's for you, and it's also for me. So we'll, we'll, we'll heal together. We'll begin the healing process together. Um, Kurosawa is one of my favorite filmmakers. He's a great Japanese filmmaker, known mostly for samurai films. And uh, his work in the samurai genre, which is basically a western, only with swords instead of guns, uh, and bun tops instead of cowboy hats, um, that, that, that provides a really easy in to his work. Because not all of his films were samurai films. In fact, some of his very, very best films were not samurai films at all. But uh, he's most known for those, and there are two films of his in the samurai film genre that I think are probably the best two to start with. And the first is uh, Seven Samurai, which is probably his best known film and his most celebrated film, and rightly so. Seven Samurai is just a remarkable film, one of the greatest films ever made. Uh, and, and it was the inspiration for the American Western, The Magnificent Seven, uh, but and as good as the original Magnificent Seven is, it's not even uh, in the same category as Seven Samurai, as far as I'm concerned. Seven Samurai is just a beautiful, exciting, wonderful, engaging movie. Uh, so I would start there if you've never seen a Kurosawa film. I would start with Seven Samurai, uh, not only because it's a great film in and of itself, but also it will introduce you to some of the uh, the recurring players in Kurosawa's company. The the two most notable being uh, Takashi Shimura, who plays the leader of the band of samurai in Seven Samurai, and of course probably Kurosawa's most well known, most famous actor uh, Toshiro Mifune, who plays one of the samurai and also plays prominent roles in many of Kurosawa's greatest films from his most celebrated period from in the 50s and 60s. Uh, and the other film I would recommend to start with is a Toshiro Mifune uh, vehicle, and that is Yojimbo, where Mifune plays a wandering samurai who comes into a town, and uh, the town is being uh, torn apart by a gang war, and he kind of insinuates himself into the gang war and, and settles everything in the town. And it's a very familiar plot if you're a fan of westerns, and it was actually the inspiration for the Clint Eastwood film uh, A Fistful of Dollars, uh, which is one of Eastwood's, again, just one of his greatest films, one of his most celebrated films, one of the most important films in his career. It was inspired by Yojimbo. Yojimbo, uh, a much different film than Seven Samurai, much leaner, much quicker, much more action-oriented, uh, really great action and and you know really a really funny rousing movie and uh Toshiro Mifune is uh outstanding in it he is to my mind for my taste the best movie tough guy that there has ever been I mean I love me some Clint Eastwood I love me some John Wayne but those guys uh cannot hold a candle to Toshiro Mifune as far as I'm concerned in terms of movie tough guy-ness I mean Eastwood I would say is a much better total package of everything but uh, on screen, as like a hard-bitten, tough guy character, you feel you watch Toshiro Mifune and Yojimbo, and you really feel like he could beat the shit out of Clint Eastwood in about 10 seconds. I mean, it's, he is just a bad motherfucker. Uh, so those are the two I would recommend to start with. If you watch those and you like those and you feel like you want to get into Kurosawa a little more, you should check out Rashomon, which was his first major 
Western success. That was the film that kind of launched his career internationally. That won the, uh, the Oscar in its year for Best Foreign Language Film, and it is just an outstanding movie. It takes place during a samurai time period, but it's not really a samurai movie as such. Uh, but it's a really, really, really smart, thought-provoking uh, film and a great movie to watch with a few people and talk about afterwards and just an outstanding movie and that also also stars uh, Takashi Shimura and Toshiro Mifune in, in important roles uh, then you can go beyond the samurai films if you want my very favorite Kurosawa film of any of his movies is not a samurai film at all it was actually contemporary uh, set in contemporary Japan and that is Ikiru. Ikiru is such a beautiful movie. And again, stars uh, Takashi Shimura, one of my very favorite actors, uh, as a, uh, a, a Tokyo bureaucrat uh, who is diagnosed with terminal cancer. And it follows sort of the final few months of his life as he, he determines that he wants to do something with his life, that he, he doesn't want to just die as the guy who was behind a desk for 30 years. He wants to make his life count for something. And he, he determines to do that in the final time that he has left. And it's a really, really, really great movie. And if you're not familiar with Kurosawa, and you know him only by reputation as the great action director, the great samurai film director, it might surprise you because it's a very closely observed, very, very quiet, personal, beautiful, incredibly sad film with some beautiful images, some beautiful camera movements and setups, and, very, and just a haunting, lovely film, uh, Ikiru. The Hidden Fortress will probably be of interest if you are a Star Wars fan, because the, the uh, plot for Star Wars, the first Star Wars film, uh, is basically a direct lift from The Hidden Fortress, which George Lucas freely admits. Uh, Kurosawa was a great inspiration for him when he was making Star Wars, and The Hidden Fortress, right from the plot to even the characters, uh, are taken, in some cases, just taken directly from The Hidden Fortress. And it's a great movie, a great adventure movie, a great exciting action movie. And it just goes on and on. I mean, uh, he, Kurosawa made so many films, and so many of them are great. Uh, once you get into his work, I think you will, you will just want to immerse yourself in it, if it, if it strikes a chord with you as, as it has with me over the years. Uh, I mean, he made detective movies, he made contemporary movies, he made samurai films, made just gobs of samurai films. Uh, you know, Yojimbo has a sequel called Sanjiro, which is just as good as Yojimbo, is just a great action movie, a great showcase for uh, Toshiro Mifune. Uh, he used, Kurosawa was a great director of actors, he got wonderful performances from his cast, he was a great visual stylist, a great director of action, just an incredibly important and influential and talented director. So uh, if you want to get into him, if you want to dip your toe into Kurosawa, I personally would recommend starting with Seven Samurai and then moving on to Yojimbo and then going on from there. But uh, once you get started, if, if he speaks to you the way he has spoken to me, it'll be hard to hold back. And these films are widely available. They're, all of the films I've mentioned are, have been released on DVD for years. Uh, most of them as part of the Criterion Collection, which is also available on Hulu Plus online streaming if you have a Hulu Plus account. Uh, or I'm sure you can find them for free online uh, in various places. And as long as you're okay with being a thief, you have no problems for me. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're relatively easy to find uh, if you want to see them. And those are the ones I would recommend starting with, uh, Seven Samurai and Yojimbo. And then all those other films I mentioned are great to sort of move into after you sort of decide whether or not Kurosawa is, is for you. But uh, if, you like, if you like Takeshi, uh, Takeshi Kitano, I think you will really like Toshiro Mifune, if you haven't seen him in other stuff already. And I think you'll really dig uh, Kurosawa, because he's, he's great.